Andrides. I'm Jordan. And I'm Maddie. And we are tangerine traveling today up the side of a mountain in Ahihik. We're actually taking a tour with a local company called Plus Adventure. And our guide is Guillermo, and he's going to be showing us around today. Taking us up the side of a mountain on a fun, somewhat leisurely version of a hike. It's not supposed to be very strenuous or terribly difficult, and he's assured us that if we need to stop, we can, and that's probably good because I haven't been hiking in quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and so far we took a van ride up here. They provided hiking poles, sunscreen, Ow, and I just hit, smacked you with the hiking pole. You can pole. hit people with if you want to. <laughs> Not recommendable. <laughs> Is that the... Can you jump or fly or what does it do? That's no. no That's I called chinche. Yeah. Hard more reason with it. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. And you picked it up. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I would have picked up all bugs that look like this, but that looks like it will kill you. <laughs> that one actually turns into a bumblebee. <laughs> I think this one turns into a dragon. See, this one I wouldn't want to touch because it's either going to be a pretty butterfly or kill me. <laughs> what if I get a stick and pick like it up? This. Where? No, no, not that stick. No, no, don't kill it. Ah! <laughs> So on this hike so far, we're finding lots of little critters. <laughs> like <laughs> lots of things freaking Maddie out. <laughs> yes, a few things freaking me out, but also really cool. I've a lot of these bugs I've never seen in my life before. And there's just moss covering everything, vines, shrubs, trees. It's so beautiful. The it's, rainy season is definitely here. Yeah, it's super green. There's lots of shade in this. But surprisingly, I haven't had any mosquitoes on me and I don't have bug spray on. So that's a nice change. You? Nope. I'm wearing pants for once. Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of bug I want to see. The town that we are seeing just below is Akihik. And the next town is going to be San Antonio, La Yacapan, which is a really nice place. So we were just told this is a type of ladybug, but it's gigantic. I have pretty big hands, and look at it compared to the size of my finger. It's at least, maybe your thumbnail size are bigger. So we were just told that we hiked up the most strenuous part of this, but to be honest, I didn't feel like it was so terrible, and we've been taking this at a very, very relaxed pace, so this has just been kind of an enjoyable walk. We're looking at all the, I'm trying to spot all the bugs on all the leaves on this whole Yeah, way it's pretty cool. Like tons of insects that I've never seen before. Very colorful too. And right now we have this spectacular view behind us. Seeing the canopy from a whole new level is pretty cool up here. And directly behind us, this is Mount Garcia. He was saying that if you go up there, you can see like pre-Hispanic paintings and stuff. And there's caves and you can go inside and there's artwork inside them. But the white structures that we see out there are one of the many, many berry growing type facilities that there are around the lake. Okay, stay there. I'm just going to go ahead and pass you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> So what did you say is the forest that we're going to called? Uh, Caducifolio. Caducifolio, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they organize each other to grow, well, to clean in some uh, areas and then grow some corn, beans or whatever and they share it with the community, right? When we were in Girl Scouts, we also learned to use your heels more than your toes. Oh. So put all the weight on your heels, and that way, that, way you're, you're, that puts you more in that seated position. So this right here was used like beginning of the 1900s to corral cattle. As you can see, some time has passed. And Don't you! He's about to steal my pun to cut him off. Moss puns are mine.
So where's this water coming from? Are there glaciers or snow up there in the there's mountain? There's a huge glacier on the top of the mountain. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I have gullible written here, don't I? <laughs> no, no, this uh, water, it comes from the ground, from the Sierra. Especially in, in raining season is when we're going to see some uh, drainages or small creeks like this one. But during the dry season, it's not going to be... It's dry. Exactly. You got. Well, so one of the cool things about this tour is that they provide snacks and water. So Guillermo asked, would any of us like an apple? And of course I said, absolutely. And we've got some granola bars here, water bottles, peanuts. So even if you forget stuff, like we didn't bring anything because, well, he told us, but also we probably would have forgotten. <laughs> We're covered. Be careful to watch your step here. Here we go again with the British accent. It has come highly requested that I do more of a British accent, so... So when will you be starting that? <laughs> sure. So, there's orchids growing on this tree and our guy just pointed them out. And these guys that we're with were like, oh yeah, there's this guy who comes up here all the time and picks the orchids and brings them down there like, sells to them sell in them. Town. Our guide was like, yeah, he's been taken to jail a lot of times because that's illegal. <laughs> so, word to the wise, do not pick the orchids. <laughs> We just got to see the waterfall here and a little stream, which I'm sure is, well, a little bit more full after the big rain we had last night. And the thing that I like about this particular waterfall, different than the one we saw at Mazamitla, less no seams. So I don't have any bites on my legs or arms. <laughs> and as we're walking up here, we can see that almost all of these rocks have been completely amassed. Almost all of them. <laughs> Jordan trying to steal my mouth pad earlier. Ask me what I think of this hike. What do you think of this hike? It rocks. Oh wow. <laughs> Great part. Yeah, really complex. Who's this better? Real complex over here. <laughs> You're trying to liken this to moss, but it's completely different. That's why I said nada moss. There's no moss. Pero aquí hay moss. Hay moss. Good one. I must step up. My pun game. We must be careful here. You just use the same pun in a different sentence. Doesn't count. <laughs> oh, you led me astray. There's a hand. Okay, where to now? I see footsteps. <laughs> so here's another one of these caterpillars that turns into a bumblebee. <laughs> Yeah, it has tons of legs. Yeah. So we've basically made a loop up and around the mountain and now we're coming down. I think this is like the most gorgeous part because we get to listen to the sounds of the stream trickling down. We saw some tadpoles in there, birds chirping. Oh, and this water you can see is so clear. <laughs> A fabulous freaking awesome hike yeah that was a lot of fun I like that a lot of diversity shaded most of the time yeah you know Guillermo was a really good guide basically anytime we had a question about anything whether it was a bug or a plant or anything he had an answer for us so that was really cool and sharing with us what a thing was called in Spanish and in English so that's something great to note if you don't know Spanish he's fluent in English and is able to do the whole tour that way. I thought I would say for someone maybe who has knee problems or ankle problems, it's not a, a terribly difficult hike in terms of how taxing it is, but when we were coming down, I did think it was uh, m would be a little bit hard on the knees if you had problems that way. In, in just in a few spots, and uh, he really helped out whenever. Oh yeah. Um, he was, was having a little bit of trouble. He was quick to reach a hand out and of course he offered up the hiking sticks before we started so that made it 
great. We learn that there's options for kayaking. He does an, a boat tour and goes to one of the islands on Lake Chapala. There's like an old castle with a moat and a drawbridge and just cool stuff like that. So I'm not sure we're gonna have time for that for on this week, but I would love to come back and do that. We love this tour and we do recommend it. We're going to give you guys all the details in the description to his Facebook page, which if you're interested in doing this, he recommends it be a group of people from approximately like four to ten people, any more than ten and you might lose some of the great experience. Or some of the people. Or some of the people. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> well, we'll put that down in the description and you can contact him. I think you guys would have a lot of fun if you wanted to do something in the Ahihik area and soak up all the nature around here. Thank you guys for coming along this tour with us. We hope you liked this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel so you see more of our adventures here in Mexico. And before you go, gong that bell so you get notified <laughs> about the next video we put out. And we will see, see you, you next there. time.